So there's a toilet there. So here's the information center. They said don't go there because there's a mama seal. Ah, 
It's okay, I'll take one from the team. Okay, so we'll go down there. We've got quite a tour. We're like five minutes away, so they must be very prompt. I, I can't see the tour we're meant to be on, so it must have rained down. Oh, there we are. Yeah. The tour we're meant to be on is to the left. I typed it right down there. So I'm not sure if this goes in a circle or if it matters which one we go down. Ah, oh, so that's just a look out up there. And Dynamo is doing her very small steps. So it must be somewhat wheelchair friendly. Well, look at it go. Very small steps. So tiny. Isn't that big? Hopefully the seals actually want to come out today. It's pretty cold. up I think because I need to zoom in. I can't do that with the GoPro. So I'll switch camera and I'll be able to zoom in. I can see one around my corner this is where I start showing up. Okay there's a tour group we went to be on straight ahead so probably good because there's about 10 people on it. Okay Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, always a Yeah. 
the seals. I was able to zoom in a bit. So, we're all crouched down there. You probably can't see the GoPro camera, but I think I can count probably 11 or 12. Just as few. Okay, we're switching back. Okay, there's this dog, right? she loves, she's loving the wind. <laughs> her hats are even, her hats are even falling off.
so yeah. um, they've actually got very short, coarse hair, um, like a short haired dog or a cow hide. Um, they've got the same body temperature as us as well. We'll just come to this side of the park so I can see a bum sticking out there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Juvenile male, that one. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, they've got the same body temperature as us and they've got a nice skin coat. So, yeah. um, we can feel like chill in the air now, they would be feeling it just as much as us. So, sometimes we physically see them shivering down. Oh. Um, so, we can get them as far as the car park, uh, in the toilets, all sorts of weird and wonderful places uh -huh. uh, this time of the evening. So, I prefer winter here just for that, you know, you get your clothes and stuff. Do they look going to be here at night time and stuff? Or I don't know, they don't have like a den or anything? Oh, there's yeah, <laughs> another one. Another one here. Another juvenile male. Um, they're juvenile So yeah, they, some of them do have particular spots that they will go back to. Yeah. Um, others not so much, they'll sort of just couch surf around. Yeah. Um, yeah, summertime, um, they'll all be down on the beach, they'll sleep there, day and night, no matter. Winter time, um, they'll hold out comfortably. Oh, that's of a colorism the way you tell. Um, when they're adults, yeah, definitely. But when they're females like these two, that'd be hard to differentiate from them. So when they're like a time to like go to the ocean and eat or eat um, or not for Chilly before as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but, yeah. yeah, again at any stage if you do want to go and Sorry, 
So how come they like this place in particular? Is it just abundance of fish or...? Um, they picked it pretty well for themselves, so um, we've got a few beliefs. And um, they've been here for as long as what humans have known they have only reckoned now, 10 years they've been a colony here. Oh. Um, yeah, we'll come up and check these ones out. Oh, yes. um, but yeah, it's quite really perfect for them, so you can see they've got it set up really well. Yes, a lot of trail stuff. Lots of damage to each other as well. Oh, absolutely, Because yeah. I was going to say, I reckon the uh, one who gave birth over there, um, the big one, yeah. like there's marks on her back. I wasn't sure if that was from like, I don't know, sharks or something else. Or... Um, you can tell, generally, if it's a shark attack, the teeth are like a V, and oh. the claw will be reasonably sized as well. Yeah. Um, whereas, yeah, if it's a sea lion bite, you know, the jaw's about yay big. Right. Um, I guess males, they will latch onto females, bite them to hold them down whilst they're doing the deed. Yeah. Um, yeah, you just saw then, you know, they were locked each other. Yeah. Um, our males down here for the breeding season, they can get up to three to four hundred kilos. We actually see them sometimes picking up males and transfer them and throwing them. Oh, okay. And that's just completely with their mouth, so you know, it's yeah. pretty amazing that they can pick up their body weight with their mouth. Yeah. So yeah, they do cop a few um, nasty boots. There's no predators here, like on the, like, it, I got, on, I, on land, on land, yeah. yeah. So they're pretty safe here. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, so there is a reef out the back there, so um, that's still to serve as a bit of a protected barrier. Yeah. Um, so if you don't get any sharks or other predators or walkers through here. Um, yeah. So our young, they've got a perfect spot to learn how to swim, yeah. um, learn how to start foraging without worrying about predators. Yeah. Yeah. Down there, so that one looks pretty young. You can see how it's a bit wobbly on its feet, and it's pretty yeah. small. Very cute. So, is there a particular breeding season? Like, is it weather driven or? No. Um. So, our females have got a gestation of 17.6 18 months. Oh, okay. Um. Every colony is asynchronous, so all the girls um are synced up to one another. So, therefore, we've got an 18 month rotation oh, okay. per season. Um. So yeah, our females, there's about a four month leeway, four to five month leeway between the first and last being born. Yeah. Um, but yeah, some like last breeding season went for nine months. Mm -hmm. So from the first to the last pup being born, there was a yeah. nine month gap. Mm -hmm. So that girl was pretty out of sync from the rest. That, yeah. That's how it is sometimes. And just for one? Just, just one girl, yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, clearly a bring, uh, winter breeding season at the moment. Yeah. Um, 18 months time, it'll be a summer breeding season. Oh. Be, roughly? Oh, I'd say maybe 12, 12 15. Oh, 15, oh, okay. Yeah, 12 to 15. So, when do I actually 
So is that roughly about the same time as well when we actually start breeding? Um, they live between 6 to 10 years old. Yeah. Um, they only live for about 20 to 25 years. Oh, okay. So they don't have a huge lifespan. Yeah. And they, yeah, they spend half their lifetime in maturity. So he's absolutely in his prime. You can see he's pretty good looking, very good luscious coat on him. Yeah. Um, we've got a few older bulls hanging around at the moment. They're looking pretty versatile there. Do you GPS track them as well, or just just micro chipping? Very rarely we GPS track them. We do have to um, sedate them to um, GPS track them. Yeah. Keep up one. actually go to go feeding and stuff. On all sides. Yeah, yeah, that's it. So you can see he's a bit larger in colour, um, in size. Sorry, his coat as well is a different colour. So he's completely dark brown and grey all over. Um, yeah, his head as well. His nose is a little bigger compared to the girls that he's got around. Yeah. So will there be damage on the left hand side of that one there, or is that? Actually, yeah, front of a flipper is. It looks like she's been bitten by another sea lion. Oh, yeah. um, so whether that was um, from when she's been. Get the side of that one. Yeah, she can't get hungry. Poor things on the outside. She's like, I'm the smallest one here, I'm crazy. She's going to the toilet. Oh, there she goes. Oh, nice. nice work, girlfriend. Um, uh, so, their feces do come out all sorts of weird colours, all different textures as well, so that is her food.
So is this one missing a flipper as well? Or? No, I think she's got a tight lip to keep her warm. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty cute how they do that. It's kind of like cats, how they lay oh, yeah, on them. Yeah, I see it. It's almost like that. Yeah, how they'll lay on their paws and yeah. the these guys down on the top of the Is that what the uh, seagulls are like hanging around? Yeah, pretty big for them. Oh. Yeah. Because I was yeah, curious to like what they're... Like I don't regurgitate or anything, do I? Uh, they can, yeah. Um, if they've got fish bones and stuff in their neck, they can pop up and try and eat some of the stuff. Because they don't walk around and eat that. Are seals and sea lions the same thing, or? Because <laughs> I thought lion, of sea lions really. I, I, thought, I know. I thought it was maybe the difference between like a turtle and a tortoise. Usually, a tortoise is on land. It's got different flippers yeah, and stuff. Fair and enough. Um, so it's quite an interesting area. So um, sea lions um, are a type of seal still. They're yeah. just not a true seal. So oh, okay. um, here in Australia, we don't actually have any true seals. Um, we've only got these guys, which have ears. So you can see the yeah. ears on this little fella. Yeah, uh, yeah isn't that right? Um, so it looks like there's a female up there, and it's out on this spot now. It's warm. Two <laughs> little pups at the gate again. Oh, there's a few coming out from a tree line and... Yeah. Teeth going in up there. 
That's it guys, that's our Seal Bay Conservation Park dito sa K Kangaroo Island. So, after Emu Ridge Eucalyptus Oil Distillery, we are heading to the Seal Bay Conservation Park. It's another park dito sa Kangaroo Island. It takes 25 minutes of driving. So anyway guys, don't mind my voice for today. I'm ready for the Halloween. So, yes, na concert tayo. So anyway, back to the Silway Conservation Park is a protected area located on the south coast of Kangaroo Island in the Australian state of South Australia. And it is the home of the third largest Australian sea lion colony in Australia. It is one of the most popular tourist destinations on Kangaroo Island. So, nakita nyo kanina guys, we have a 1215 uh, beach tour with self-guided tour guys. And of course, we are Filipino time. We are late guys. So, we are late about seven minutes or eight minutes guys and we are scheduled for 1 15 the next uh beach tour so while we are waiting we are exploring the area so meron silang information center pagpasok mo doon sa my 
reception so on the left you can see the information about the australian sea lion and on the right you can see also the souvenir shops and you can buy some of the australian sea lion products so anyway we also have a two sets of area there which is the boardwalk lookout and the beach access so we purchase the beach tour access with a self-guided yun yung pupunta tayo sa beach and before tayo yung pumunta doon guys we explore the left side which is the boardwalk and the lookout so anyway guys may kita nyo dito ang uh, bothered sea lion which is australian sea lion and some of the seal pups or the baby pups guys so they also have a female sea lion adult the bulls which is uh meaning uh, a male sea lion guys and the pups which is the baby so nakita nyo ganina pag may mga partner na maliit and malaki means a female or the adult sea lion and the baby pups guys or the baby sea lion anyway nakita nyo there's also a boardwalk there and then we are lucky kasi today merong uh, female na I think uh, she's giving birth of a baby pup doon sa one of the boardwalk so meron doon area na you need to be silent when you will pass on that uh, boardwalk so meron silang lookout na makikita mo from the ocean yung mga sea lion pero nga sabi ko kanina unbothered sea lion kasi sila daytime talaga means that tulog sila or chillaxing relaxing guys chilling chilling lang and today's weather is not a good weather guys nakita nyo naman kung gano ka rainy season today is a rainy day so I think we are very lucky aside we are late for today's uh, tour so anyway hi Anyway, um, after we done the lookout and the boardwalk, meron sila mga prices. So, kapag interest nyo lang ay boardwalk and lookout, you need to pay the entrance in the reception. And this is their prices. And you can check them out, guys. So, kapag beach access naman, the, yung pinurchase nyo, like us. So, we purchased the beach tour with the self-guided. And we are lucky, you know what? The 1.15 p.m. tour have uh, both of us. So, solong-solo namin ni Drax plus yung self-guide na tour na nag-tour sa Amen. So, tatlo lang kami. Nag-walk doon sa beach tour, pababa ng beach. And then, uh, while we are walking, she's uh, she's giving us some information. It's very interesting, guys. And, uh, madami kang matutunan about the sea lion. Kung nakinig kayo kanina, guys. And you will uh, know about more about the female, the male, the pups. And we are lucky kasi ngayon daw lumayon mabas yung mga pups. Hindi nila masyado nakikita yung mga pups ngayon. And hindi easy mag-pregnant ang mga female uh, si Lion. I think it takes more few months bago sila mag uh, mga anak or maybe mag uh, mag-conceive ng baby. So anyway, highway guys, nakita nyo meron bridge and meron pups sa gate and we give them a space, social distancing din sila guys kasi sabi ng tour guide kanina, kapag lilapitan mo ang isang si lion, they can uh, chase you pa guys mas mabilis silang tumakbo kesa sa'yo alam nyo ba guys na hindi lang pala sila sa water doon sila sa my land my land kasi din ang sea lion so nakita nyo naman yung iba nakahiga doon nakachill lang, nakatihaya yung iba nagpiplay they're very playful especially doon sa mga baby pups which is the baby sea lion they're very playful guys very exciting guys nakita nyo kanina doon sila sa road and then chilling with the moms with the adults para silang malalaki na so anyways guys yung beach access store meron din silang fee and I will show you here and you can check them out it's one of the highly most popular tourist destination kapag nandito kayo sa Kangaroo Island or the KI huwag nyo palalagpasin ng tour na ganito guys especially kahit hindi nyo makuha ang beach tour you can also do the boardwalk tour by yourself and the lookout. Very clear kasi maganda ang weather sana doon kapag hindi umulan. If you're lucky, if the weather is nice and sunny, may kitin nyo talaga sila. So, anyway, highway guys, we duly highly recommend na pumunta kayo sa Seal Bay Conservation Park kapag kayo ay pupunta ng Kangaroo Island. And if you are in South Australia or in other different states, 
of Australia. So guys, I will put their sock mats in my description box down below. And you can check them out guys if you have family, colleagues, friends, and relatives. And if you will go here in the near future. So that's the end of our Seal Cut Bay Conservation Park for today's video. I hope you enjoy watching. You learned something today. Plus, you had fun for today's video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for supporting my videos. And my love shout out to each wonderful, beautiful people of the universe. Thank you from the bottom of my hypothalamus. It's like if you did enjoy my video for today. And please do subscribe if you haven't yet. And don't forget to hit the bell button for you to get notified on my next video. And please comment down below if you like this video. But see you when I see you on my next one. Bye bye guys. Be good. You take care. Be safe. And ciao la.